What are micropartitions? I've called out this specific term quite a few times in the previous questions which we have answered. Consider micropartitions as small subsets of data which are automatically stored by Snowflake. By default, all data in Snowflake tables is automatically divided into these micropartitions and with each partition containing between 50 MB to 500 MB of uncompressed data. So each micropartition maps to a group of rows and is organized in a columnar fashion. So let's take a look at this with a quick example. Here from column A to J, I have a table's content. I have about 501 records. Now on the right side, you see an example of how a micropartition works which is, you see this conversion of columns to rows, which is the header, and then each record is split into its columnar storage level. So 100242, which is the first record, is being transposed as row number one. Same goes with row number two, three, and we can have n number of partitions like this between the size of 50 MB to 500 MB, which are uncompressed and stored in these micro partitions. The beauty of this is the size and structure of these micro partitions allow not only for optimization, but also for better efficiency when we are processing the queries. Micro partitions not only allows us to perform extremely efficient data manipulation language or DMLs, but also a fine grained burning, which is nothing but filtering on very large tables, which can be composed of millions or even hundreds of millions of micro partitions like this. To put it in a simpler words, let's say if we run a query with a specific filter on a range of values, that was supposed to access only 30% of its content from the whole table. So out of these 500 records, let's say I gave a filter of business type, retail, farming, and office building, which is comprising of 30% of its data, for example. So what should the Snowflake compute engine or the query processing layer should do is, it should ideally only scan the portion of that micro partition where it contains the data of office building, farming, and retail. In this case, as we took the example of 30%, it should only scan that 30% of values, right? So micro partitions are derived automatically as data is ingested in Snowflake. There is nothing we or the DBS have to do, or there is nothing we need to explicitly define upfront or maintain by the DBS or the users, which we do in case of Oracle. If you have to define a partition, you have to define the partition first, add that into your DML or while loading the query and then do it. You also have to define the space. But for Snowflake, it is automatically done upfront by Snowflake's engine itself. There is nothing which we have to do. So unlike tables in traditional data warehouses, which typically have relatively smaller number of partitions, for example, let's say you want to take a snapshot, which is nothing but one partition per day or per product, a table in Snowflake can have millions of partitions. And the beauty is it does all of it by itself. So you might have seen this image on the left side. You, this is how you see the table content on Snowflake. This is the logical structure. And you could see there are four different micro partitions. Again, remember each partition could be 50 to 500 MB of uncompressed data. There are 24 rows in these uh, columns, which is type, name, country, and date. And two specific rows of data have been highlighted, two and 23. Now, if you look at the right hand side here, this is the representation of how it is being split into these four partitions at the back end by Snowflake architecture. This is referred to as the physical structure. There are four separate micro partitions, as you can see, and each of which contain six rows of data, one to six, seven to 12, 13 to 18, and 19 to 24. Now, the first micro partition contains data rows from one through six. Now the data which the user is looking for is stored by column instead of by row. So it is stored by column. You see the type and all this is transposed into these multiple micro partitions. And again, it is not breaking away the pattern of each row. So when you're looking for that particular content or that particular record, it will identify the content from these particular partitions, query only that partition as needed and pull the content out. 
that is a micro partition key points to remember snowflakes micro partitions are derived automatically they don't need to be explicitly defined up front or maintained by users or dbas micro partitions are small and this size and structure enables efficient dml and fine grain filtering or purning of very large tables now micro partitions can overlap in the range of values which when combined with their uniformly small size help prevent any ambiguity columns are also compressed individually within micro partitions and this is all done by uh, snowflake automatically which determines the most efficient compression algorithm for that particular column in each micro partition so the columns are stored independently with micro partition and a row of data is stored in the same micro partition and this enables the efficient scanning of individual columns and only the columns referenced by a query are scanned which saves a lot of time there is also a piece which is metadata and metadata in each partition helps in filtering or purning the data during the compile time which is a pretty good feature when it comes to saving time and processing the data that's about micro partitions